Welcome to Saturday Night Hangout, an original podcast just for Patreon supporters. Today on the show, we're talking about the infamous episode 529 of the Bourbon Daily. You know the one where Becca got shit-faced? Well, that could be any of them. But the one where she passed out, there's a lot of those. Anyways, we'll figure it out. My name is Nick New. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, um, Lori Mangum and Christy Atkinson, and our Patreon sponsors, Kent and Linda Mace. Hey, gang, what's up? Hey guys. Hey oh. So yes, we have a fun show today. We're going to be talking about infamous, I think is the key here, number 529. So perhaps uh-huh. one of the, you know, craziest moments in the history of the show. Uh, McNew played a little part in that, so she wasn't uh, totally unscathed. I mean, it really is the Becca show, but McNew, she wasn't doing too bad herself, but she did stay upright, so to her credit, yeah. For one thing, it was upright. Oh, man. <laughs> so, but before we get to all that, Kent, you said there's something you wanted to talk about. What was that? Well, Linda and I, we have, we have picked up on a lot of the series on mm-hmm. Amazon Prime and Netflix, mm-hmm. So just curious, what, what kind of series do you guys watch on those kind of media outlets? So I actually just reactivated my Amazon Prime. I took a trial a long time ago. I just turned it back on. I am currently watching The Hunters. Ooh. It's about um, a, a whole plot. It's a Nazi thing? Right? Yeah, it's a creative, like a fourth Reich. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should be the word for scenario, plot, whatever. Yeah, but it's really interesting. I like it. Okay. All right. I like Shameless. It's on uh, Netflix. So, Shameless, yeah, great. Shameless yeah, is Shameless is really good. good. Yeah. That's a, that's. Mm-hmm. I like to laugh, so it's good. But there's very few things that can make me laugh. So I, to their credit, I don't really like oh. humorous shows, and uh, I like that one. Oh. So yeah. yeah. Challenge accepted. We're gonna make you laugh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I laugh at friends and that, but yeah, TV shows. I'm like, I could, if I if I'm sitting there watching that, thinking I could write that, I, I, I it just makes me angry. I'm just like, I could write that. I oh, could. you're that guy. I'm huh? that guy. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, just, why did I invent that? Yeah, yeah. It's like I could do this. They should just hire me. Uh, fire their whole staff. I'm I'm, I'm like a super uh, output guy, so I could, I could do the all, for all of them. If they've got twelve writers. Just hire me. I'll do it all. But yeah, yeah it's not happening. I'm sitting in my house by myself. In my underwear, typing all day, working on shows from ABV Network. So, what are you gonna do, <laughs> McNew? What about you? What do you binge? I can't even imagine. Here we go. This is a, always a fun. So, one. I'm kind of I'm kind of weird that like I like a handful of things and really nothing else. So I rewatch the same things all the time. Mm-hmm. So it's either Mad Men or Parks and Rec. I like the dark or The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix when that yeah. was out. And I love The Ranch, and I'm so sad that that's over. The Ranch. Okay. Yeah, the Ranch was good. The Ranch was oh. good. Yeah, but I'm not a big TV watcher, so, like, it's always just kind of, like, background noise for me. Yeah. So it's always something I've already rewatched unless I really want to, like, deep dive into, like, I a movie that. or a conspiracy theory. Yeah, I don't have the attention span either to pay attention. So yeah. I, I'm always working on my computer anytime I get the, yeah. the TV I'm on. I'm always, like, doing, like, ten other things while it's on, so that's why it's, like, Parks and Rec is just, like, it's funny and I love it, but it's, like, right. background noise That's like that also. TV show with the dragons I, I there's too much there i can't follow the storyline because i'm always working on my That's computer <laughs> it's too confusing. I, I, yeah I, game I, of thrones I, I, of it, like, that just seems like a lot to pay attention to and i can't yeah, do I, it i don't <laughs> yeah, i've never seen it oh you're not missing anything i don't think yeah it's, it's, it's too so much it's like I, I just don't think it's be a genre i would even enjoy yeah dragons and whatnot and the dragon was actually pretty cool but uh, the rest of it i don't know yeah there was just a lot of power laurie how about you what do you like well, I do all my TV watching in the tub where I can't do anything else. Okay. So I uh, I focus on that. But I rotate back and forth between, like, types of genres. So, like, sometimes I'm in the mood for, like, true crime and I'm watching Mindhunter or something like, like that. But okay. then other times I want Grace and Frankie because I want it to be lighter and funnier. Okay. So I kind of I volley back and forth. But those are the two. Oh, and The Crown that I've been catching up on lately. Mm, all right. Yeah. Linda, how about so you? Laurie- when she's watching <laughs> we started this winter and and uh, my favorite was the marvelous miss Maisel, and then we blew through that one and so there's not a new one for that one but she was hysterical and so we gravitated to the uh, boardwalk empire uh-huh and that's about prohibition and wow 
Um, there are nights that that one's a little bloodier than I like, but the storyline <laughs> is really, really super interesting. But um, yeah, so that's a, the Boardwalk Empire we will definitely go to. I, again, if it's not college football season, <laughs> don't have a lot of TV that I like to watch. So those are definitely my, uh, I'm ready for a new season of The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Okay. Is Boardwalk on Prime? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It is. Yeah. Oh, cool! Yeah. I just stole somebody's kind of prime seven, thing, so I'm gonna watch that. Seven or something. It, there's five, quite a few. Five, there's five. quite a few seasons yeah. of the boardwalk. Okay. 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 So it's a good start with, yeah, yeah. And it's so. it's like Martin uh, Scorsese and oh, one of the walkers. okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Okay, I got a chance. That's a legit production yeah. team. Yeah. I've yeah. I, I've kind of wanted to get in that one. I, I thought that's either going to be great or terrible, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll no, it's it's really good. I'd say it's great, but it's great that I've heard from. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's a good one. So, right. Kent, yeah, what Kent. It, what's yours? Well, uh, so today a new one came out, and it's called the Tiger King. It's a seven mm. seven episode series, and it's actually about a guy right here from Oklahoma, down south of us, just a little bit from a little town called Winniewood, and the guy goes by Joe Exotic. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. There's a whole podcast about him. So if you don't know who Joe Exotic is, Please he watch. runs, ran a zoo <laughs> that was pretty much all tigers. And probably oh, just like the year after I first came down here, there was a tornado that went through the zoo mm -hmm. and all the tigers escaped. <laughs> oh, really? And they were all over. So, yeah. so oh. at that point for a long time, it was always going to be tiger NATO and all those things. <laughs> but yeah. I, and I, I won't ruin the plot too much for you, but there's a lot to this guy. That's why there's he, seven episodes. He hired a guy to <laughs> kill a uh, animal rights at. Um, it's a lady from Florida. He had this yeah, whole thing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this whole series is about it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. there you Joe go. Joe Exotic. Oh my God. Joe I got to do that. I'm so excited. Okay. Joe Exotic is quite the guy. You just oh. you just need to Google him to just get the picture. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there was a real character. Wow. Right He's an yeah, insane right now, yeah. It's on Netflix. Oh, came out today. Came out today. Oh, I am on that later. <laughs> All right, and I've got uh, the passion for all you guys starting next month. It's a hot new show out uh, coming out on Amazon called uh, Bourbon Reminiscing. Mm. It's yes. good. It's good. It's finally coming yes. out. It's finally Mc awesome. McNew's in there. Lori's in there. I'm in there, uh, and everyone else you know. So it's it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be out soon. Yes, yeah. I just looked up there Joe Exotic. <laughs> Look at him. He's got sequins <laughs> on. He's got like a porn stash. Yeah. Oh. And a mullet. He had a mullet there. Joe oh. Exotic is a porn name. <laughs> yeah. End of it. Wow. But it's such a crazy story that like there was this whole thing about it. And I just listened to Binge listened to it like a whole day at work. And I'm like, what the hell did I just listen to? But I'm so excited for this show now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was the name yeah. of the show again? The Tiger, Tiger King. King. The Tiger King. King. Okay. I'll have to watch yeah. that. Yeah. Joe yeah. Exotic, though. What a name. Right? All right. Like a, uh, All right. Male drag. On this show, we drink. What is everyone <laughs> drinking? We're going to start with Lori. Lori, what are you drinking there? All right. Tonight, I am still rationing very carefully my most recent bottle of the Neely. Okay. Cool. Um, this is our ABV pick, by the way. One of the first ones. Okay, that was decent. That, that may be enough to win. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll go next. I've got Stumpy's Old Monroe. This is uh, barrel number 60. 60, so here we go. This goes back a ways. I think he's uh, 130, somewhere in there. Ooh, that was solid. That was solid. There's a new leader. That was new good. Leader. All right. All right, McNew. Can you beat that? Probably not. I got this E.H. Taylor. Not a lot left in him. <laughs> no. oh, nothing. Nothing going on there. All right, Christy, you're up next. I have a Barrel Proof Rye from Bluegrass Distillers. Okay. Oh, oh, now we have a new winner. I've been overtaken. Winner, winner. I've been overtaken. That's going to be tough to beat, but Linda, you give it a try. Nice. See what you can do. All right. I have Wood Whitford Reserve Rye. Okay. I'm a rye girl. Oh, no, not at all. Nothing, nothing there. Mm -hmm. And it was full. Brandy a rye ball. girl. A rye girl. 
Oh. All right, girl. Oh. Oh, my girl. I, know. I don't think anybody here listened to Fly Girl back in the day like I did. So I know. It probably it didn't, not. Didn't, didn't, didn't <laughs> work, but it was a great song. They're a little young. I was in the eighties, all... back in the eighties. I know. Yeah. Yes, that was us. Yeah. All right, Kent. How about you, man? What do you got? Tucky Owl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. All right. Is huge next to Kent? It looks like it's taller than he is. So. <laughs> It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, congratulations to Christy on the win there. So, yeah. Christy, our yeah. first ever cork pop win. So, congratulations. Woo-hoo. It is not my first ever cork pop. <laughs> Aww. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Not her first ever cork pop, folks, but her first ever cork pop win. That was the key. No, it's my fourth. Not that she's keeping track. Who's counting? Not that, not that she's keeping track. <laughs> we all we have like tally marks in our desks of all the ones we won. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had I had to get a new desk actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <crap it. laughs> this guy. All right, we'll, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're talking show number five two nine. If you haven't heard that yet, and you're listening to this on Patreon, pause this, go over to the Bourbon Daily, listen to five two nine, and come back as we talk about this. We'll do that in just a few. Welcome back to Saturday Night Hangout. Today we're talking about Bourbon Daily Show 529. 529. Now, the funny thing about 529 is it came out. uh, It was a crazy time. It came out. And then it kind of got forgotten a little bit. No one one made a big deal of it when it came out. (laughs) But over the years, it's grown in importance for some reason. People go back to it. They find it. They're like, I can't believe this show. And so now... Anybody who's new and say, you know, tell me a show you should listen to, I'll point them in the direction of that one. I feel like that's our quintessential piece of work there. That's that's the summit for us. Yeah. That is the first and the best of us. Yes. So, uh, Linda, you, you, you've heard that show. What did you think of that thing when, 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 when that was going on? What do you think of it, Linda? Well, you know, as I was listening to – Everything and I'm hearing McNew, you know, needing the backup of Becca Sue to get Fred Minnick through the right. The, right. The, She's trying yeah, to I mean, keep her awake. She needs votes yeah. right. for Fred Minnick, and I'm like, come on, where is Becca Sue? And you know, it's just so hard to hear, you know. And 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 then you're you're you were being kind of pushy, Steve, you know, and you wouldn't let let anybody. I else was vote. trying to run a show. It was. <laughs> I was just feeling bad for McNew. I really was. <laughs> McNew was trying to cheat. She was trying to get a vote from a person who couldn't vote. It was not cheating. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, I see movement. No, I don't. No. no. I, I see no. movement. I mean, and I would say movement counts as a vote. And you would not give it to McNew. No. You would just. No. No. Yeah. no. So the funny thing about that is, like, I was lit too i didn't pass out but i was lit and i could tell that by the way my voice sounded i can always tell like it gets really like high high higher pitched and squeaky i'm like i was fucking lit on that show oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she's fine she's fine everything it's fine yeah. everything's fine yeah. Yeah. and then becca passes out at one point she's out and then she comes back too but she forgets how to play oh, the she game did. she we needed to go over the rules the second time because she forgot <laughs> favorite part because she, she what? Up and you're like explaining to her who the two final people are and she's like yeah but but what am i like for what <laughs> right and you're like because this is you're voting the last two people and then she just goes winkle <laughs> winkle, winkle. It's like, like that's like the funniest part of the show to most people right. but for me like it was actually that early thump you hear this thump pretty oh. early on. You're like, what the hell is that? And everyone's trying to act normal. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But you all solve or go down, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So, that one would have been a great video show just so you could right. see what we were seeing. Right. I'm trying to picture it the whole time I'm listening to it, just like getting really nice mental images of like the slow, like decline, you know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> and, oh, God, that's so good. <laughs> I like melting ice cream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, she's belligerent and yeah, yeah, just messing with the show from the from the get go. She was literally messing with the show. I was trying to do a show and she's talking and yeah, yeah. So her yeah, brother, yeah, you're pretty 
Yeah, her brother, they, can't, they can't play them. <laughs> her brother had never heard it, so I, I, I told him to listen to it, and he listened to it in his office, and he was laughing so hard that the, the woman that works in his office came running down to make sure he was okay. She was like, what's going on here? <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm just laughing at my sister on a sh- podcast she does. So, yeah. yeah. But then, and, and it's, this is the one that we bring stayed awake all night to be like, I just yeah, want to see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's that's the, the, the crazy thing is, yeah, I we, we all hang up after it's over, and I actually, at that time, was podcasting from my basement. I'm upstairs now, but at that time, I was in my basement. So I go into, you know, go upstairs. I, I t- shut my computer down um, and take it and go upstairs. And then I'm working on some stuff for the network, and I see the calls still going on. Because if two or more people stay, the, the call keeps going. So I'm like, well, I'll just <laughs> join in and see what's going on. And then all I see is, is Becca passed out and Andrew Webrink there, and he's watching TV. He just has like his... <laughs> He, he has his phone propped up where he can see Becca sleeping there and he's watching TV. I said, what are you doing? And he's like, well, I just want to see what happens next. <laughs> I mean, I guess somebody checked on her. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. He stayed with her. So yeah, it was a safety precaution. So yeah. Yeah. So she passed out again on another show, but at that point I had her uh, roommate, Ashley's phone number. I called her and had her do a, a, a check on her. So, yeah. Was that sure. when Christmas got ruined? When she ruined Christmas? Yeah, when, when Becca yeah. ruined Christmas. We were doing our Christmas <laughs> show, and it was so bad. We we had to redo the Christmas show. So we released it to Patreon. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you can hear it. Um, yeah, that was one of our proudest was- moments. We're like, this is too bad for the air. Let's give it to Patreon. I, I laughed at that one so hard, though, because I, I got it because I posted it to Patreon, and I just laughed my ass off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah. one was great. <laughs> yeah. She she passed out. So yeah, yeah. So and those that uh, recently attended New Orleans got to see the live uh, version of, of all that. So we we got to live that. <laughs> yeah, right. Christy, we, we saw that. I had my Glen Karn. I got there. Yeah, my oh, Glen there, there you go. Yeah. Seven three. Yeah. So yeah, she uh, Becca the one time uh, she and Royce were separated, and uh, so she went back to the room, but she didn't have a key, so she just slept on the floor. And Royce was like, "Just go get a key to the front desk." Ah, oh, fine. She just, just slept by the hallway door. She just slept on the hall? on the hall on the floor. When we get back I'll there, and there she her bra off and go find a security guard. She would have been fine. She would have been fine. She could have got in there. Yeah. I'll let her know to do that next time. Yeah. <laughs> it's wrong. crazy. We, we go in there and she's literally like this, you know, like uh, <laughs> face down on the on the hallway. Oh my god! They don't have that. I, I would I I wouldn't think anything like that could happen. I just assume anything in the hallways is on camera. I, uh, so I would assume at some point some security person yeah. would see that and be like, "What the hell's going on here? Is this woman dead? Is like, she hurt?" That or they're laughing their asses off. Like, check this out. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably out on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, so probably yeah, released the security tape, and there's Becca sleeping in the hallway. It's the girl oh, from the from nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, New Orleans hotels, they've all seen way worse. I guess. Oh. You're probably right. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was it. So, oh. Yes. Well, definitely, if you haven't done so already and you're listening to this, you got to check out episode 529. It's a trip. So it's it's funny. Yeah. Bell to bell. <laughs> Her hired actually right like she was just like a part-time yeah person. she was she was not yeah. the announcer at that point so yeah yeah that's so she, what it takes that's, yeah, that's what that, it that, takes that got her hired i was like oh she she's the one for me we gotta have back i gotta have back yeah here drink so yep yep i got her that got You're her ready? gig yeah well, so. and it's been great ever since so yeah <laughs> so, so well, that's a good question. Is this book that you're writing with with Miss Becca Sue mm-hmm. is this a uh, sober book or is this a drunk book? This is this is sober. It's it's kind of funny. I mean, we just talk about life things. So we just have, we just throw out topics and then we talk about it. I, I, the, the other day we were t- we talked about uh, aliens and haunted and uh, and love and love. Mm. So she's in, so, so she's, aliens so aliens. she's in love. Yeah. So so it's like chapters are like themes. So that was love, aliens, and, and haunted uh, haunted places, <laughs> which doesn't sound like it works. To edit this. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. I, I got to send it to you. I, I haven't transcribed uh, session number yeah. three yet, and then we're doing session four tomorrow night. So um, but I'll, I should be able to get you three and four, and then you, know, you can get caught up. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, All right. Linda's our editor on this on this project, so she'll get to, she'll get to see this before everybody else. It's a, yeah. Godspeed, Linda. Godspeed. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. So, I, and I have no idea we're we're talking tomorrow night. I have no idea what we'll talk. We figured out when we when we uh, pick up the Skype. So right? Just like the random captors just come as you're talking. Yeah, and we just. I think like the call-in show. show. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like our call-in show. Yes, we're doing another one of those coming up too that we are going to release on april 1st our call-in show so if, if you like those uh yeah check it out and by the time this comes out april 16th you'll be able to go back and listen to the april 1st episode of the bourbon daily where we did our call-in shows because we, we gotta we gotta get mcnew and uh Lori, i think is good i, I can do, i can do a mcnew impression i can do a Lori impression and i can do a christy impression so oh do me do me oh yeah i will i will well Lori will be oh, no, I heard you Lori. Yeah, Lori will right. be on the next, on the next <laughs> exam, right? yeah, Tune in. really high-pitched bird <laughs> <laughs> I pitch for no. My impressions are spot on. So I've been working on all these for the radio calling show. So, yeah. I'm nervous about this. No, 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 it's good. Yeah, yeah. I just picture Steve like just walking around his house, just talking in everybody's voices to himself all day. He <laughs> practices us all day. Like, At the very least, you have to go to preview like the three of us need to hear. <laughs> Yeah. We need our, our, our impressions. Oh, no. Oh, well, the good thing is... I know what mine sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I constantly do big news voice. So. Well, we news, we know. Yeah. And then I also do a lot of Rick Brenner, if, if you if you know who Rick Brenner is from uh, the, the crew. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his, his do Jason Bronner real quick. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you're spot on Jason. Everybody. Rick cracks me up. Oh, do it right now. No. Anybody watch my, my IG? <laughs> Live last night, I was singing, dancing, took my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Did anybody watch him? Like, oh my god! <laughs> I feel bad for the guy because he's got to be just—it's horrible. It, it, it's, you know, he's got a—he's got the cool bar, and you know, nobody can be in there. He can't have anybody in there. So he's in—he's in a bar by himself, drinking himself to get rid of his, get rid of all his anxieties. Friends. <laughs> Yeah. He and he's drinking the good stuff. stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. was. Yeah. Oh, of yeah. Course. Of yes, course. If I could legally go there, I'd go hang out with him, but I can't drive through <laughs> Illinois right now unless I have papers. So. If you hang out upstairs, you can have gatherings of 10 or less people. You can okay. hang out upstairs, right? Okay. Yeah. I, I'd have to drive around Illinois. Go in and shop. I can't, I can't drive through Illinois. You got to have papers to drive through. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, go, go, the, go, under Illinois. go the long way. I could go the long way, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what's under that. But. What's under Illinois? No one knows what's under Illinois. He's no. going the long way. He's yeah. going around. <laughs> go around Illinois. I got to go around Illinois. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, what we'll do next, we're going to talk about where people can find us as we wrap this one up. We'll start with Kent and Linda. Instagram, kent.mace. Okay. Linda. You can find Kent me with Kent. <laughs> She's the Kent. I'm the mess. Okay. All right. All right. Lori, how about you? Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram at Spirited Curves. All right. Lori. Not Lori. <laughs> Christy. Nope. 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 <laughs> Christy. You can find me on Instagram at Southbound Lane. All right. McNew. I'm also on Instagram as Miss underscore McNew. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com, but we also got a company website. That thing is abvnetwork.com. Our shop is out there. Our blogs are out there. We've got movie information, TV show information, and so much more, abvnetwork.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? On behalf of Steve and everyone else on the ABV Network, I'd like to thank you all for your support via our Patreon campaign. It truly is what keeps the network going, and we do we couldn't do any of this without you. Yeah, we definitely appreciate all of our Patreon supporters. It means a lot to us, so thank you so much. For our audience, we'll have a brand new show for you next week. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See you. Bye. Bye. Peace.